if three uh, question a replace with previous minimize uh, so we've been given a string str and we've been given k now in one operation we can choose a certain character and uh, substitute all the occurrences of that particular character in the string by the character that precedes the given character so for example if we have selected character c then wherever c occurs in the string we can substitute c by b this is one, one operation and at max we can uh, perform k operations we need to find the lexico lexicographically minimum string that is possible to be obtained by performing at most k operations uh, the way we solve this question is uh, okay so there are two major observations in this question number one being that if whenever k is greater than 26 then you can observe that first of all uh, we'll uh, we'll choose if if z occurs in the string we'll transform all the z's to y's then we'll transform all the y's to uh, x and so on so in at most 26 moves we'll have transferred the whole string to a that is the lexicographically minimum possible string with n characters so for k less greater than 27 greater than k greater than 26 for any k greater than 26 a string of all a's is the answer now we need to find the answer for k less than equal to 26 for this for k less than 26 for this case we will consider uh, so okay so first of all consider a prefix array in this case let's take an example uh, okay we can take we can take what we can take this as an example uh, c b a f g case let's say 9 now this let's take this as b okay so if k is 5 let's say uh, if k is 5 then we can first of all we'd want this to be a uh, to be the least possible that is a this we want to be want to be as less as possible that is a is already a we want this to be the least possible now to transform this into a we'll need two operations to transform this into a we will need would have, we would have needed three operations but we can first transform this into c and then transform c into a so cumulative number of minimum operations required is three now this is already a so cumulative operation minimum operations required is three to transform this into the minimum possible string so already in three operations we've been able to get the string this now we need to find the minimum string possible with five operations now this is kind of easy to see that this is a, a, a in one operation we have rst u t u v right so in one operation we get this and in another operation we get this so this is the answer for this case now the way we solve this is c d a v g maintain a prefix array where prefix of i stores minimum number of operations required to make the whole array from 1 to i in these indices to make all these uh, characters equal to a so what i mean to say by this is prefix array for this case would be 3 4 4 v to transform v to a we need uh, how many where does this is the 22nd character and a is the first character so we need 21 operations for b for g how many do we need uh, e is 5 g this is 7th 
So this, for this we need six operations. So the prefix array would be three, four, four, twenty one, twenty one. So what I mean to say by this is, if I have, let's say, twenty k is equal to twenty four, we would be able to transform this whole string into all a's. If I have k is equal to twenty, I won't be able to transform the whole string into all a's, but I would be able to transform this prefix into all a's. And this prefix won't be always. We'll have to figure that out. If k is equal to let's say two, not even the first element can be made uh, made an a. We'll have to figure out what it would be. If k is equal to four, we would be able to get uh, a a a. If k is equal to three, we would be able to get what? Uh, we would be able to get only. Uh, C D say C C D B A A two three. Okay. Yeah. So if K is equal to three, we'll be able to get uh, A A A. But if K is equal to two, then we would only be able to get A D A B G. Now the way we generalize this is, once we have maintained the prefix array, we so it's very easy to observe that this would be an increasing array because this is the way we are uh, like making it right. This by construction uh, increasing array. So by doing a lower bound, we can identify the element. Let's say this is id. The element where a of id, sorry, prefix of id is greater than k. The first such element, such that p of id is greater than k, we know that all the ele elements in the indices preceding this particular element, all of them would be one. This would be something else, and all of these elements would be something that we need to figure out. So. uh let's okay now if the example we are considering is uh let's see c f a g uh t a g if this is the example prefix would be 2 uh f f where does f lie e f so 5 for f Zero for a, but this is a prefix, so we need to find the maximum of all. So first, let's just uh, store the number of operations we need to transform each character to a individually. This is two. This is five. This is zero. What is this? E F G. This this is nineteen. This is zero. This is one. Now prefix. Array is two five five six nineteen nineteen nineteen. Okay. Now, if k is equal to ten, we can safely see that all of these can be made uh, equal to a in if we have k operations available. If we have ten operations available, and t cannot be made equal to a in ten operations. Once we have identified this, we go ahead and use ten operations. to make this a a a a and t a b are left and we are left with nine operations now and this is 19 19 19 19 okay now we have like nine operations uh, now we have uh, uh we need to find what minimum string can this string be reduced to now we see that in nine operations we can move from t to uh from t to what uh, k to from t to k so the answer for this would be let's say this is not a but this is p and this is uh, i don't know this is h Okay, no, no. This, this. Let's say this is P and this is D. Let's just say this. 
P and D. Okay. Okay. Now we observe that this is safely A. This would be transformed to K. So the final answer would be this. But what would P be? T would essentially also be equal to K because when, when, when we are reducing T to K. So what is the alphabet like? What does the alphabet uh, line look like? J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. So P lies between K and T, right? So while we are reducing T to K, P will also get reduced to T. But D, since from C to G, C to ID minus 1, the maximum element that is reduced to A is G and D is less than G, D would also get reduced to A. And let's say Z was also there in the string. Now Z for this, the prefix array would look like 25. And we see that Z would remain Z. Z won't be reduced to anything. So this is the final answer. This is the logic. I'll show you the code as well. Uh, this is the code. Uh, this is just to get one based indexing. So again, we, what we are doing is if k is less, k is greater than or equal to the last element of the prefix array, then obviously the answer is all ends, all a's. Otherwise, we find the lower bound of k plus one. If it is equal to end, we just return the string of all a, all in, all a's. This is not required in my opinion because we've already checked for this condition here. But anyways, okay. Uh, so id is the element where uh, is the first element where the f the where uh, the element is the first id where the element might not be equal to a might not be able to we might not be able to reduce that that character to a so uh, yeah id is that for id so all the characters before id would be a this is setting all those to a uh, now find the maximum of all the characters from 1 to id minus 1 the operations we are left with is k minus a id minus 1 now answer this the idth character of the answer string is nothing but str id minus ol and for all the indices from id plus 1 to n if the if that particular character in that index is less than equal to the maximum character of the first id indices then obviously the character would be reduced to a otherwise if the character lies between uh, between what the idth character would be reduced to and what it currently is then the uh, corresponding character would be equal to the ans the the character what the idth index would be get reduced to and finally we report the string print the string uh, 